Welcome back to Real Nation Fishing. Today we're talking about how to rooftop a heavy kayak on a small car just like this one. This is a Civic. I have no roof rack system on top. I have got myself a 95 pound kayak, 12 and a half foot long, and I've and I've managed to come up with a system that works for me. There's a lot of options on the market, but this is gonna be for those people who are looking to car top a kayak with a soft roof rack system. Coming up with a process for yourself really is something that uh, you're gonna have to take some time and figure out, um, depending on how heavy your kayak is, depending on what kind of car you have, and obviously what materials you're using, right? What items you're using. So let me just show you guys what we are actually using, what I'm using to car top my kayak. All right, so over here, it's a basic system. It's basically a soft roof rack, but it's a heavy duty one. And Stanley makes these. This is, uh, comes with like a, anti-slip material at the bottom which isn't really as anti-slip but it does really pretty well when you when you have your weight of your kayak on and everything strapped down it does not move as you guys can see this is pretty pretty heavy duty thick the foam is very stiff so absorbs a lot of that vibration and pressure that's being put down on it and it also comes with buckles so when you place your kayak on top you can run your cam straps around and then through these buckles and into your car which which allows to which, which makes it a lot more secure in my opinion um so you'll definitely need a pair of these now there's so many different ones on the market there's a there's a ton of them on amazon um and this is the first one that i've tested so far this is the second item you're going to need and the most important in my opinion because you cannot cheap out on the cam straps that you buy you want to buy some cam buckles or cam straps right here these are the nrs 15s um, I bought a pair of these for about $15 to $18 each. I've got two pairs here, okay? Um, and um, I run three on top, and I run one at the front. Now, this, the, the fourth, or I, I should say the fifth cam strap that I have actually came with these pads. And I don't use this for the front or the back. I mean, uh, the top or the front. I use this just for the back to tie down the kayak. I'll show you how I, how I do that. And then the last item right here... Honestly, I forget what these are called, but they're like uh, removable, like toll points on your car that you can put underneath your hood and shut and, you know, close your hood and you'll have this flap sticking out where you can then tie your rope or, or cam strap to. Um, I have one for the front and I have got one for the back. Yeah, this is going to be different for everyone, depending on the car type of car you have, depending on how heavy your kayak is, how far you're traveling in your kayak, right? Now, for me, the way I do this, is first I've tried to figure out what the best point to place my roof rack is. The middle of this roof is very soft, right? I mean, the closer you can get it to the rear, the less your roof is gonna cave in, and it's it, that's going to happen a little bit with these with this setup. You are gonna get some depression in your roof, but I mean, so far, it, as long as you're careful with it. I, it, the roof does go down and then when I take the kayak out, you know, it pops right back out. And that's something you will also have to consider if you're trying to use this system. So the first thing that I do is I set up my tow hooks and the first one we're going to set up is right on the hood. So I like to place mine right over here and I just set my hood and we have a nice solid connection over here. The second one is going to go at the back. And the second point, I just like to hang off my edge of the trunk right over here and just hold the end over here before you shut it and you got yourself a nice point to also tie down the back of your kayak. Alright, so after you've put down your toe points, now this is what I like to do is I like to have the front one just slightly in front of the front seats. Like I said, the further you get to the edge of the roof, it's a little bit more solid. So obviously every car is going to be different. So find that spot that works good for your car. And I like to have it right at the edge of this curve right here. Now, because these are loose, if I was to just slide my kayak on top of this, what's gonna happen is these are gonna move and they're gonna get out of position. So you can either put your kayak on top and then slide these under, or what I like to do, it's just one extra step, but it makes things a lot easier, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cam straps now and just buckle these down. And we're gonna remove the cam straps after the kayak's on top but this is just to hold these into place for when I slide my kayak on top. I just ran straps to the ends all around and you don't really have to tighten down too much here because this is just there to keep this secure. 
so it doesn't move when I load the kayak. We're gonna pull the straps out after and then tie it down. So when you're gonna be loading your kayak on top of your roof, you're probably gonna be pulling it out of your garage like I did, or you're taking your kayak out of the water and you know loading it on top of your car. So one thing to keep in mind, you're using a kayak cart, you wanna have your cart towards the back of your kayak, so it's gonna make it easier to lift the kayak up from the front because we are gonna be loading the kayak on from the trunk. You're gonna need a bath mat or like a shower, not a shower mat, but just like a bathroom mat that has rubber at the bottom and a fabric on one side so it can slide. You can find these at the dollar store for pretty cheap and I just like to keep it right here. I don't even hang it off my trunk, I leave it right here just so it's covering the trunk and a portion of uh, glass over here. And this way I found it to be pretty good because by the time the, slide, the kayak slides on top and the keel is sitting up there, the kayak is not really touching this because you're lifting the kayak up and it's just sliding on top. I had to move my car because my kayak was getting out on the road and there were some cars coming by. But what I was saying is that you want your kayak to as far back as you can. So when you lift, the, so when you lift your kayak up from the front, the back is not touching the ground, um, for this purpose at least. But when you are moving your kayak around from the car to the water, you want to have your cart in the middle so it makes your kayak as light as possible when you're hauling it with things on it. Once the kayak is there, you want to unattach your kayak cart like this. The whole idea here is to lift and then take the kayak up. So if your front of your kayak gets caught on to the roof rack, all you have to do is just drop your arms, lift the tip up, and just let it slide. Just like that, your kayak is on top of your roof. When you do it from the side, it's a little bit different depending on what kind of kayak you have. Mine has a rudder in the back. So I would have to lift up the stern, get it up here, and then lift it up onto the middle and rotate it. Over here, you're just picking your kayak up, pushing it, using your the window and the roof as support. And once the keel gets on top of this back one, you can just lift your kayak up and it's effortless. All right, so once you've got the kayak on top, you just wanna make sure that you have it aligned when it comes, uh, when it goes front to back. So what I like to do is the native sign on my kayak, I like to kind of have it situated in the middle and the back behind the trunk, the line of the trunk. And then you also wanna make sure that that's in the, it's in the middle from the left to the right. So it's pretty good, looks pretty good to me right now. Again, the car is on my driveway and it's a little bit slanted, but that should be fine once the car straightens out. Now the next step you want to do is we're going to just remove these, the cam buckles that we put on. Take them out and you can slide them right out. You can do one and two. Okay, so once I begin to tie the kayak down, I'm going to take one of my cam straps. Now my kayak has a handle right over here and I like to take the cam strap and run it under my handle and then out and same thing on the other side. So I'll show it to you guys up close after I'm done putting this in. And here, I want the cam buckle to lay right on the edge of the kayak. Again, I'm gonna go underneath the handle and pull the cam strap out. See the buckles I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna take my cam strap, run it through this buckle here, and then run it through the second one as well at the bottom. And then we'll toss this over to the other side. And then on this end, what you want to do is do the exact opposite. Run it through the bottom buckle and then through the top. Pull all your excess out. I like to put a little twist over here so you don't get any vibration when the door is shut. Just like that. You want to go under the cam buckle. And all we're doing is just tighten down I like to give it a pretty solid cinch because I just like to be as secure as possible. Now, as I was mentioning to you guys, you guys can see that my roof is, there's a depression there because of the weight and just tightening everything down. Honestly, there's nothing we can really do about that. This is just part of it, um, especially if you're a heavy kayak on a smaller car with no roof rack. But honestly, it's been fine for me. Every time I take my kayak out, I can just pop it right back out. Now, what I was talking about is this right here, the handles, I like to run my strap underneath this one 
and then under that and over just so in case if something slips at least the kayak can't move back and forth these are some something stopping it from moving okay now once this side is tight down i don't like to put this in here what i like to do is i'll just toss it up here and i'll tie a couple of half half itches over here just secure it over here just like that i'm gonna do the exact same thing with this side i'm gonna have my cam buckle hanging over here put it over to the other side run it through the buckles then underneath out into this buckle into this buckle and then and then tie tie my cam buckle down right over here these nrs buckles are really good because they've got like a soft rubberized material around it so it doesn't damage your kayak or your car if you're tightening down on any of those surfaces run your your cam strap through the buckles again and then tighten it down so yeah again like i said the roof is gonna get depressed you're gonna hear that sound. I probably could move this a little bit forward and let's try do that and let's see if it makes a difference. So now that's positioned a little bit more towards the front of the car. You guys will notice when I tighten down this time, the roof is not gonna buckle in as much because it's a little bit more solid towards the front of the car. And the same thing, I'll just take it up top here just so that I don't have anything flapping around. Here we go. Alright, so usually after two straps like that, people will usually tie down the back and the front. But I, I like to take some extra precautions because I drive quite a bit for, I mean, to get to my fishing spots. And uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'll take the third cam buckle and I'm just going to run it right in the middle of the kayak, basically at the edge of the back door over here. And I'm going to do the exact same way. But instead of having the buckles on the other side, like I have on the other side, I'm going to have this one buckle on this side. Just to even out some of that pressure. I don't know if that makes a difference, but um, in my head, it makes sense. All right, so we've got a third one in here, but let me show you guys something. If you get on top here, you just notice that I'm running this strap underneath the rail track, and I did the exact same thing on that side. Again, just for security, so the kayak doesn't shift back and forth too much. Strap down the third. Third one, right here. And this one, I don't like to really cinch down as hard as I did on the other ones, just enough so there's some tension there and it's pretty secure and then again i'll just tie it off over here with a couple of half hitches and it doesn't it doesn't flap too much for me at least all right so the second last step is to tie the front down i'm going to take this cam strap right here pull it through my front handle just like that. Let this cam strap sit, jam buckle sit right there. Take the cam strap through this toe, toe point or toe hook. Run it through again, through the cam buckle like that. And you don't want to tighten this down too hard, okay? I could have moved this a little bit more towards the middle, but it's fine. I just give it a little bit of tension just to get the kayak's nose pointing down a little bit and that there's some tension there. I'll take this excess, throw it in the kayak and I'll just half hitch that around the other cables up there. Okay, now for the final attachment point, I'm just using the cam buckle or cam strap that came with my rooftop. Um, it's a shorter length and we're just gonna tie this down the back through your little toe loops or toe hooks or whatever you want to call them through the cam buckle and then like I would say like half the tension that you have at the front one you want to apply to this one you don't want this too tight you just want this just to hold it in place a little snug you know and then you can tie off the excess over here just so it's not moving around and there you go. All right, so that's how I tie my kayak down, guys. 95 pounds, 12 and a half foot long on top of a small car. As you guys can see, this is not going anywhere. I've taken this out now using this system, what, three trips, four trips, and I've had zero issues. I go on the highway, I'm going 100, 105, 110 kilometers an hour. I've even taken it up to 115 just to test it out. I've had no issues. Now, I wouldn't recommend speeding on the highway at 120, 125, but you can comfortably drive 
105 kilometers an hour and you'll be 105, 110 kilometers an hour and you know, your kayak is safe on top of the roof. Now, I can also show you guys how to take this kayak off. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the straps off and I'll show you how to unload the kayak as well. So when I'm taking the kayak down, what I like to do is I like to take this, this bath mat and instead of putting it the rubber side down so it doesn't slip, I actually like it to put it with the fabric side down so it actually slides. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna rotate the kayak, bring the keel towards the front, get the kayak to sit over here. And then while the kayak is sitting down over here, we're just gonna slide the kayak over and grab onto the back and lower the kayak. Grab the front like this, pull it forward, spin it around. What I'll do now, I'll just pull slowly, just like this. Let the kayak slide down right until the keel is sitting on my car. Now, if your bass mat falls like it did here, you can always place it right over here like this. You lift your kayak up just a little bit. Get the bass mat underneath. All we're gonna do, slide the kayak towards yourself like this. No lifting required. Grab the handles and your kayak is off the roof of your car without any heavy lifting required. And then you can just place your kayak on your kayak cart and you're good to go. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys found it informative, please leave a comment down below, like, share this video. Um, for those of you who have watched my previous videos, thank you so much. We're close to 100 subscribers. I'm really trying to work hard to get this channel to be something bigger. Hopefully we can do that. Until next time guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.